Um, it's going to be an interesting weekend, I can tell. Sorry, the mic was probably covered there. It's going to be an interesting weekend, I can tell. Police and fire services proposed proposed tax increases. There's a shock. Um, now I've got nothing against the fire service per se, but of course they're trying to um, stop. Fuck off! Look, you didn't do this last time. Crying out loud, stupid thing. Um, I've got nothing against the fire service per se. I think they're wonderful people. They've saved a lot of lives. They actually go out and do their job, unlike the police, who condone 25 years worth of theft in the public purse by hunting the shared district council employees. But more of that later. Um, but they did this. I can't remember when. It, it was a year ago or two years ago. I'm pretty sure it's on the channel somewhere. Um, the Police and Crime Commissioner for Cambridgeshire, Jason Ablewhite, is asking the public to tell him how much they are willing to support policing in a short survey launched this week. And the short survey is, is to say how much um, extra council tax you want to pay. <laughs> Fucking irony that I'm reading this out, isn't it? <laughs> um... The first up, they have done this before. I know, and I know I've done a video about it. The first option would be four pounds, an extra four pounds a year. The second option, an increase of twenty-four pounds a year. For fuck's sake, robbing bastards! Oh, and the third option would see an increase of a hundred and twenty pound a year. I wonder which one they'll end up choosing. One, two, or three. <laughs> Well, I don't give a fuck because I don't pay mine now, so. Fucking charge what you want. <laughs> Still nothing. Um, Mr. Ava White said Chief Constable Nick Dean and I, who's never once been in the paper since he arrived and said he wanted to assess the feelings of his officers in case they were feeling a bit sad and depressed. Which was... end of last September, I think. So the Chief Constable has not made one public announcement in the local papers in nearly four months. I think that's a fucking disgrace. But then you're a coward, aren't you, Nick? Because you won't answer my letters either. Let's look at what we're paying for here, guys, shall we, right? Jason Ablewhite earns, I think, £75,000 a year as a police crime commissioner. Uh, I don't know if this is a deputy police crime commissioner or not. I really don't care. But if there is, he earns, I think, it's £35,000 a year. Uh, for doing... Well, it's hard to tell what they do. Very little. <laughs> uh, we've got a chief constable who's a fucking coward and won't even put an announcement in the paper um, and something I thought about today actually if we're talking about trying to recoup 25 years worth of stolen cash well they can't now, can they? because they've bailed hundreds of people out the back door of the fucking council and quite a few out the police as well and they've made them all sign confidentiality agreements and they've given them great big wads of taxpayers cash to stuff in their back pocket to keep them fucking quiet so on top of everything they've spent trying to prosecute me they've spent a few more fucking hundred thousand or maybe a million paying about 500 fucking people off So where did all that come from? Did that come from council tax? <laughs> but the rest of the articles are usually comedy gold. Um, now it says here, uh, last year we introduced a new structure for local policing which brought an additional 50 officers to the front line. Yes, and you were supposed to get rid of 50 PCSOs. But you haven't, because in the video I did the other day, we still have them. That made-up copper one. Last week. Two weeks ago. 
So you fucking lied about that. Um, and as a result of last year's increase in the policing part of the council tax, I think it was last year, a further 55 officers were also recruited and are now in training. Well, no, because you got extra money from the government. That's what you said then. It wasn't anything to do with council tax then. You, you got extra money from the government. So you've just fucking contradicted yourself, you fat pie-eating shit. <laughs> Oopsie. Demand on policing is growing in Cambridgeshire. Demand on policing is growing. Cambridgeshire is a safe county. <laughs> well, yeah, but only if it's not the police who are actually your enemy <laughs> and are trying to have you sent to prison so they can have you killed. If that's not the case, it's, it's a fairly safe county, I think. Oh, this is beautiful. Our police force is still one of the lowest funded forces in the country. <laughs> but you just got all this extra money from the council tax. And you got extra money before from the government or the council tax or someone. Someone left it on your doorstep in a plastic bag. <laughs> Right, so you're paying seventy five grand a year for the police crown commissioner. You're paying thirty five grand a year for a deputy. You're paying, I think, somewhere in the region of hundred thousand pounds a year for a chief constable who's a fucking coward. Um, do you really, really want to pay one hundred and twenty quid a year extra for that extra? Bearing in mind, I think the council tax bill for this area is something like. For my house, which is a, a mid terrace, uh, I think it's something like twelve hundred quid a year. I don't know because I don't pay it. So, um, <laughs> so you now want to pay closer to fifteen hundred quid a year for this shit? A survey, which technically, legally, if you fill in and send back and put your name on. You are saying to them, you can have all my cash. I don't know if I asked you to put your name on it, but I'm, I'm guessing it probably will. <laughs> so if you fill it in, you're stupid. Because let's face it, out of door number one, two and three, we know which one they're going to open, don't we? There's a hint. <laughs> um, what a bunch of robbing bastards. Basically. Glad I caught that one, though. See you later.